everyone, and welcome to Ohio Valley Couponer. Today, I am here with a multi-store grocery stock-up haul. Today, we went over to Aldi. I don't always go to Aldi, but, you know, they I should do it more often. We really should, because they have really, really good prices, honestly. Especially if it's not on sale at Kroger, like, going to Aldi will save a ton of money, which is so fun. So, got some stuff at Aldi, and we are going to go to Kroger tomorrow, and I'm going to film that as well. So, it's going to be a combined grocery haul. So, you're going to see Aldi first. We're going to go over everything we got at Aldi first, and then the next clip in this video will be everything we got at Kroger. So, cool. All this stuff was a little under 150 bucks. And how we do our grocery shopping, I should explain this. We don't go grocery shopping like every single week. What we do is we'll shop for a few weeks at a time, like maybe three to four weeks. It's been, I don't even know how long it's been since I've done a grocery haul. It's probably been about a month, honestly. Um, I shared it last time I did it. Um, three to four weeks ago. So really, we don't do this all that much. But when we do, we'll um, do a bigger haul and really stock up so we don't have to go out again and do this all the time. Because I don't know about you guys, but grocery shopping is tiring. It's really tiring. So I bought some of this stuff. My mom bought some of this stuff. And we're just going to show you the combined grocery haul for Aldi and Kroger. So first up, we are talking Aldi. So all this stuff, I don't know if I said it, it's a little under 150 bucks. Um, that includes tax. We did have tax. The only thing I really had tax on was the paper towels, but everything else was not taxed here. Um, so yeah, let's just dive right in. So the first thing we got, this was kind of an impulse. They had these Belgian semi-sweet chocolate chunks, and these just looked really good. They were two forty something. Let me get on ice cream. I'll pick up some. Um, Kroger has frozen yogurt. I really like the vanilla frozen yogurt, so I'll grab that tomorrow. My dad likes these peanut butter crackers. These were 79 cents. That's a really good deal because Kroger, they're like two bucks. So that's a really good deal. These 100 calorie dipped pretzels, I love this. I can't find 100 calorie stuff anywhere. And so to get this, like I tell you, I'll buy the bags of flips and I'll eat the whole bag. That's not good. So I'm um, like the pre-portion stuff, trying to get back on counting calories and all that wonderfulness. But this was 219. So I grabbed some of those. Um, some protein bars. This looks awesome. I like to have... Um, my doctor kind of told me to watch for fat and sugars and stuff. Well, this is kind of a lot of fat, but for one meal, it's not horrible. But this looks really good. No carbs, hardly, no sugar, hardly. They are called Evolution Indulgent Bars. And this is chocolate coconut, and that is caramel. That looks really good. Those were three forty-five, dollars I think, for five bars. I like to have these for breakfast on busy days. It can be really nice to have a protein bar just to grab and go. We got these organic chocolate chip bars for two fifteen. dollars we grab these Benton's little mini Teddy Grahams. These were two something. We like to have the pre-portioned. I know that's kind of more money, but it's nice, especially if you're bad about snacking like I am. It's good to have pre-portioned stuff. And we grab these 100 calorie cookies. These are good. These are like two something. I grab their Rice Krispies. These were 2.19. It's kind of expensive, but they're 90 calories, hardly any fat at all, and not that much sugar, so it worked. Also, we grab some light syrup for $1.29. Um, and then I did get some paper towels. This was not the best. I'm sure we could get a deal at Dollar General or somewhere else, but we've had hardly any of these left. And I was just like, okay, let's just, let's just get them because we needed them and it is what it is. So it's $6.99 for an eight giant roll pack equals 12 regular rolls. So since it equals 12 regular rolls, that's kind of like 50, around 50-ish cents a roll, which is not horrible. So it was okay. We, we did it. No problem. Produce, we got some. So no one come at me in the comments with the paper towels because I know. I know I could have got them cheaper probably, but we just kind of had to do what we had to do. We got some lettuce here. Tomatoes. These were cheap. These were like two something and they're like three forty nine at Kroger for the organic ones. That was a good deal. The bagel thins. I love those. Those are good. Hot dog buns were like 79 cents. That's a really good deal. Peanuts were $1.59, I think. The turkey pepperoni was two nineteen, And these look good. These are like chipotle bowls but there was still um cauliflower rice these were a dollar 99 not much fat a lot of protein i'm really excited to try those out i bet that's i bet that's really good cereal is actually if you're not doing a deal at kroger this is a really good deal at aldi really good deal we thought we had a ton of cereal so i've been passing up all the cereal deals but then when we went and looked in our pantry there's like literally none so I had to kind of just grab some cereal, but they're really not bad prices. So the Cinnamon Life was like $1.79. I can get the Quaker ones when Kroger has it on sale for that. But I don't think it is right now. The Special K was $1.79. Again, I could have got that a couple weeks ago. You know what, guys? This is on sale right now, I think, for cheaper. I just remembered that. <sighs> what are you going to do now, right? 
The mini wheats were like $1.45, and then the Cheerios were like $1.05, and that was really good. $1.15 or $1.05, that was good. Fail on the Special K, but everything else was all right. You know, you win some, you lose some. We grabbed some of the 45-calorie bread. This is $1.79. That's a really good deal because if you get, like, the Nichols brand here, it's like $2.99. So that was a good one. Got some broccoli for 85 cents. Got some pickles. I think they're like $1.69, and the banana pepper rings were cheap. I got this pineapple salsa. I like the Newman's own. But it's pretty pricey, so I'm curious how much, how, how good this is. So we're going to try that because it was $1.99, which is cheaper. Um, we grabbed some applesauce pouches for, we babysit my cousin's twins, and they'll devour those, so we got that. <laughs> got four of these meals here, just easy frozen meals. Um, they're $3.99 each. We got, we like these Tyson Air Fried, and these are cheaper than Kroger. They were $6.99. Kroger is like $7.99, so this is a good one. We got some cream cheese. The, is this the reduced fat kind? I don't know if it is. Oh, the wit. So that's good. We got some lunch meat for $2.49. We got the Bushes baked beans here. These were $1.98. A little cheaper than the other stores. Not much. Sorry if you hear a lot of background noise. We're getting dinner ready. Um, kind of a spur of the moment filming haul here. And we have stewed tomatoes. So we really stocked up on the canned goods. Aldi's a great place to do that. We got the stewed tomatoes. These were uh, 49 cents. The peas were 49. No, the tomatoes were 59. The peas were 49 cents. The green beans were 49 cents. The corn was 49 cents. The crushed pineapple was 97 cents. The organic kidney beans, I want to say, were 95 cents. And then we got six of these organic diced tomatoes. These were a dollar, like 50 or something for the big, a really big can. So all day's done. This is all about 150 bucks. That is not too shabby, but we're going to head over to Kroger and finish up. We have those awesome Kroger rewards checks, which I've talked about before if you have that Kroger um, 123 Rewards MasterCard. You get checks quarterly, and we have $90 of checks to use. Free money. So we're going to go and redeem those today, and it's going to be epic. So that's all day. Let's go see what we grabbed at Kroger. All right, guys. Here is Kroger. It's actually Sunday now when I'm filming. Whew, we're exhausted. This was... This is crazy, but like I told you guys, I don't know how these broths wound up here, but that's okay. Um, like I told you guys, we like to do stock up hauls. We will go and stock up, especially when there's like a mega sale at Kroger. I love the megas. That's a really good time that we like to go and stock up um, on deals. And that's just kind of how we like to do it. And we definitely won't be shopping for several more weeks. We like to do it. Um, I kind of explained it in the beginning. So I'm not going to sit and explain it again. But we shop for several weeks at a time. We want to get as many weeks worth of dinners out of this as we can and meals and stuff. Um, so, yeah, it's kind of what our goal was. But Kroger came to $107.47 for all this stuff. That does include a ton of coupons. Like, we had a ton of coupons, Kroger coupons. I had a 10 off of 100 coupons. So we utilized that. And then we had $90 in Kroger Rewards checks and the Kroger 123 Rewards MasterCard. If you've not heard of that, in the description box below, I'll have a link to a video I did about that, all about the 123 Rewards MasterCard and how you can get tons of extra rewards and perks with it, which is really awesome. So, yeah, but we get um, checks from them every quarter. And so we had $90 there. So I was viewing that as like $100 of free money, the sent off of $100 and $90 in checks. Like, come on, that's really awesome. So, good on the line, can I tell you guys what we did? Um... I did get like a $4 Catalina too for the Morningstar products. That was a really good one. But let me take you on what we did. Mrs. Grass Soup. We like this stuff. I have not seen this in ages. This is $1.99 each. We just like it. And I should say also, this is for six people. This is for my household, which has my grandparents, my actual parents, and myself. And then my great uncle, we do the shopping for him because he is disabled and he really can't do this on his own. So we just did a lot of the grocery shopping for him. Like he'll eat sometimes a lot of the same meals we do um and stuff like that and so we picked up some of the things for meals that he'll eat and then also just things just for him like that he likes to have so it's for six people so this is really good okay we have this plant-based french onion dip this was 379 we had a dollar digital coupon so it was 279 grab two of the pillsbury biscuits these were a dollar 25 they do have a kroger brand but pillsbury to me is just better so that's what we got the Alexia fries were on closeout i think for like two something we like these my dad this was pricey but he, he's loyal to his berries, these Wyman's Triple Berry Mix. This is $11.99 <laughs> eek, but that's what he wanted, so we got it. My great uncle likes to have these potatoes. It's quick, easy meals for him. These were three something for the four pack. My grandpa needed coffee creamer. This was $1.59 with a digital coupon. It was $1.59 with the um, digital coupon that's out right now. We needed eggs. These were $2.50. 
water. They hardly had any spring water. I've we checked out Aldi too. They didn't have any spring water, so we had to just get this. It was three seventy nine, which is crazy, but kind of had to have it. Bananas. We got some bread. This is on the mega for one ninety nine. Um, also we grabbed, uh, they had all of their like office stuff. They had a ton of office supplies on clearance. So I got these erasable pens because I love erasable pens. These are 57 cents, which is insane. And then they also had these paper mate ink joys and the ink joy pens are really expensive. 39 cents. So that was good. Even though I have a million pens, these are the fancy ones. And I thought, okay, well, since they're good, good quality ones, we'll, we'll splurge. My mom loves these sweet Lorraine's cookies. These were three seventy nine. We got some Banquet Popeyes for a dollar. Board and Cheese was on Mega for one ninety nine. I didn't even know. I've never really seen this brand too much, but that was good. Sargento Thin Slice Cheese. This was expensive. It was three something, but there's twenty slices. And the Morning Star Farms. We love these. These were on our Mega, or not Mega. They were on a weekly digital deal for two ninety nine. Had a limit of five, so I did that. Got a four dollar Catalina back for purchasing these. So that was great. Butter was two for five. We like the Kroger um, olive oil butter. We got some of the fat-free cream of chicken soup or 98% fat-free. These were on sale for 85 cents. Or they, not on sale. I think they're just regular price. Um, got some Lucky Charms, the large size. I wish I wouldn't have done the Cheerios at Aldi now because they were on Mega, the big boxes, and it would have been a really good deal, but it is what it is. I got two of the Lucky Charms for $1.49. I had a dollar on two coupon from an insert like last week, so it made it $1.49. The large boxes, that's good. Frozen meals, the smart ones were on sale two for three. So I got some three cheese ziti, chicken enchilada, and chicken parm. My grandpa likes the Michelinos, so Salisbury steak. These were on sale for 89 cents. Meatloaf and um, Alfredo, chicken Alfredo there. Um, we got the shredded cheese here. This was three something. I had a coupon for it, so it was good for one of them. We got 15 of these broths. This was insane. <laughs> but these 15, I think. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Yeah. These were on sale with the 5X digital coupon. They were three for four. We were out of broth. And my mom was just like, what's the limit? And I was like, 15. And she was like, okay, we'll just do it. <laughs> She's like, let's just stock up. We like to stock up on canned goods and stuff. When they hit a good deal, just because it's a pain to have to buy these things all the time. So I was happy to do that on a good sale. Um, we got the Hormel turkey breast and the meatloaf. These were on a sale for $5.99. So that was pretty good. They were regular, $7.99. Potatoes were $2.99. I had a $0.60 cents off coupon. Dolores beef was $6.99. I had a two off two coupon. Kroger had sent me. Kroger sends me so many coupons. It's awesome. I'm sure I had some that I forgot to say, but I don't know. Um, this is for my great uncle. He likes these Smithfield pork chops. They were $5.49. Apples were $4.29. I had a dollar off coupon. Kroger sent me. The lettuce was $1.99. The cantaloupe was on sale for $0.99 cents with a did, um, the weekly digital deal, so that was good. The crispy potatoes, the skillet potatoes, these were two for three, and the Parmesan and herb look really good. Detergent, didn't have to, This isn't technically couponing, but or groceries. It was couponing, but I just threw it in the deal because the coupons are annoying. It's limited to one per day, and so... I just try to get them every time I'm in Kroger for the most part. So we just went ahead and do it today. Um, the Snuggles 199 had a dollar fifty coupon from last week's paper, so forty nine cents. Same with the liquid all, and then the pods I have a two dollar coupon, making this free. So that was just awesome. And we stocked up on these chips, these donkey tortilla chips. These were on close out for one eighty nine. That's good. Also grabbed some um, pretzels, and I grabbed three of these Kroger. Everyday paper plates. These were an awesome deal. They were two seventy nine. dollars We usually will pay, like, honestly, $4, so that was good. Um, What else do we got? We got some reduced fat Cheez-Its, two for five. Not the best deal. They're not, but the, I like these, and I'm trying to be healthier, and so whatever. <laughs> I'm reduced fat wheat thins. My mom likes those. Got these Jello Temptations. These were two sixty nine. dollars That's crazy. And then the snack packs were a dollar. So that's it for Kroger. That's actually over the grocery haul. Like I said, this all came down to one hundred seven forty seven, and Aldi was around one hundred and fifty. So everything was actually under two hundred and sixty bucks. Which I don't think for everything we got for several weeks of groceries, I think that's awesome. I'm really happy. I don't know the exact percentage say because Aldi's prices like are lower than a lot of the other stores' prices. But then the sales at Kroger were really good. I know we saved a ton of money. And that's just how you grocery shop. You know, you save money on the things you can save money on. Sometimes it's cheaper to buy a generic. Sometimes it may be cheaper to buy a generic. Closeouts. Always look for closeouts. 
you can save in so many ways grocery shopping. So yeah, that's all I got for this video. I do hope you guys enjoyed this massive stock up grocery haul. And thank you so much for walking. Wow, not walking, watching.